One of the Crystarium guards is particularly relieved to have found you. Ah, Divi, have you seen Rin? She's been looking for you. Hmm? Wait here, I'll go and get her. Oh. And here's Rin. There you are. The truth is, I need your help. Now hold on, I haven't even told you what it is yet. Doesn't matter. <clears throat> After you defeated Emmet Selk, I sensed a strange concentration of light, somewhere far to the south. In the empty, the lands that were once swallowed by the flood. Hmm. I can't tell what it is, but we have to find out. For all we know, it might even be another Light Warden. But whatever it may be, I don't intend to stand by and watch. I'll... Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Tancred, Orion J, and I have a few theories that we plan to test once we find whatever's causing this. The three of us were reluctant to ask for your help, considering everything that you've been through. The thing is, you're the only person who can defeat a Light Warden without becoming one yourself. So we have no choice. While we don't want to jump to conclusions, it will be a good idea to have you there, just in case. So, will you come with us? I wouldn't have it any other way. Perhaps we should let sleeping dogs lie. No, I wouldn't have it any other way. Let's wake up the sleeping dogs. Thank you, Divi. This means a lot. First of all, let's head to the Derek in Amarang. Tancred and Rianje have everything ready by now. Nice car though, Dragon Ball style. I hope the desert creatures didn't give you too much trouble on the way here. I doubt they posed any sort of challenge to him. Would that I could say the same with confidence about whatever fiend may be waiting for us out there. Even if the light that Rin sends turns out to be nothing of consequence, the empty is hardly the most welcoming of places. Anything that could survive out there is not to be trifled with. Moreover, it should be reiterated that the light blasted wasteland poseth as severe a threat as any foe we might face. In any event, we are in agreement that this phenomenon doth warrant investigation, though for lack of more precise means of navigation, we must needs rely on Rin's innate abilities to guide us. I have formed several hypotheses regarding the nature of the light, but speculation is a poor substitute for first-hand observation. Well said. There will be plenty of time for us to talk about it on the way. Is the Sky Slipper ready, Tancred? Let's call the Sky Slipper. Ready to take us whenever we need to. Go, aye. Back again too, maybe, if we ask it nicely. <laughs> that, that definitely looks like a Dragon Ball vehicle. 100%. Though the light hath been expunged from Northrend, the ambient aether of this, the empty is still corrupted. Dangerously so, in fact. The flood of light devastated everything in its wake, the soil, the air, the water, all rendered incapable of supporting life. Tis due to this imbalance that the empty remaineth utterly uninhabitable, even a century thereafter. That's why we're taking every possible precaution. Between the atherometers I've packed and Rin's unique abilities, we should be able to detect and measure any fluctuations in our alignments. According to the Crystarium scouts, a few days out there won't affect us to any noticeable degree, but much longer than that and we risk becoming Sin Eaters. Since we don't know how Chocobos and Amaro will fare in the empty, we opted for a more mechanical mode of transportation. This comes courtesy of the researchers at the mean, who found it in the Crystal Tower and restored it to working order. Mm-hmm. I want that mount, if it's a mount. It's quite safe, I promise. The person in charge said he'll have parts delivered from the Crystarium should anything break. He seemed quite eager to see what we bring back from the empty, even though I told him we're not hunting for treasure. I'll introduce you if we have a chance to, st to stop by Mordzuk at some point. Anyway, I think that covers everything. When you're ready to leave, just say the word. Ready. Yes. I really want that as a mount, if it's possible to get. Oh, it doesn't fly. I thought it would fly. 
Oh yeah, yeah, that is Dragon Ballish. It floats, yeah, just like Bulma's thingy, capsule corp thingy, yeah. With a name like the Empty, I wasn't expecting much in the way of pleasant scenery, but this is downright depressing. To look on the land swallowed by the flood with mine own eyes, it is a chilling sight indeed. Approximately nine tenths of this world are as this, a slate all but wiped clean. Were it not for the warriors of darkness and Minfilia. Rin, are you sure we're heading in the right direction? Yes, I'm certain. There's no telling how far away it is, though. Nothing for it but to keep going, then. You two back there may as well take a nap. I have a feeling we've got a few moms ahead of us. I don't think it's a good time for a nap. Anything can jump out at any moment. And it's super empty. Yeah, that is pretty depressing. <laughs> and the light wiped out everything. I have to say, it's a touch larger than I was expecting. And is it sleeping? No? Huh? Oh, it looks so nice though. Phew. No, it's waking up. I don't like the sound of that. Is it a light warden? No, I don't think so. Instead of being filled with light, it is light. Oh. That's a bit too much. The first Sin Eater. Oh. Long have I strived to unravel the mysteries surrounding the Flood of Light, to discover what set that terrible cataclysm in motion. Me too. Every thread led to the same conclusion, the same single point. Or single being. I have reason to believe that the entity we see before us is the first Sin Eater, the instigator of the Flood, the very foam in Philia vanquished a century ago. Wow. I did not expect that. She gave everything she had, and won. But this abomination could undo her work. Aye, the possibility cannot be denied. So it is oft said that destruction and creation are but two sides of the same coin. Mm. Rin, knowest thou of what I speak? The power to shape reality, to bend the laws of nature, for what was once shattered may be forged anew. Mm. That's all well and good, but don't you think we should give it a name first? Eden. I like that. Utopia in Fey, a most auspicious title. Now that that's settled, perhaps we should find a spot to set up camp. I even brought a couple of tents, on the off chance, but pitching the damned things is something of a fine art. Does anyone fancy helping me? Yeah, this is actually pretty difficult. Took four people. To one time set up a camp at a tent that we that we did in university. But so that's the instigator of the flood. That's the source, the first sin eater. Uh, wow, I did not expect that. Everything looks so empty, man. Okay, the map isn't that huge, but I never realized that putting up tents could be such a bother. Still, I'm glad that we got there in the end. Tancred should be back from scouting the area soon. Once he's here, we can plan our next move. Sure. During the course of your investigation, you may discover valuable artifacts. These can be exchanged for equipment by speaking with Gul Gul in Mord Suk or Yal Yal in Yolmor. Okay, interesting. Next one. Deploy the core. Rin waits anxiously for Tancred to return from surveying the vicinity. I wonder what's taking Thancred so long. I don't know. Ah, 
There he is. Well, that was rather uneventful. Not that I'm complaining. Did you find anything? No, thankfully. There's naught but barren plains in every direction, apart from Eden, obviously. I tried approaching it and the brute didn't even seem to notice me. I thought it best not to tempt fate, so I withdrew. We should act now, before it's fully awake. Meaning what, exactly? When I think about the Flood of Light, I get the feeling that rather than destroying everything in its path, what it actually did was stop the flow of Aether. Of course, that meant all of the plants, animals and people here could no longer survive. They must have crumbled to dust in the years since. Ooh. But the Aether is still here, lying dormant. Huh. If Eden is the one that caused it, maybe it can get it flowing again. Wow, okay, okay. I don't know for certain, but I think I can use Eden to bring back life to the empty. Now hold on a moment. What makes you think that's even possible? And how do you expect to control that kind of power? Rin's aspirations may not be as preposterous as thou dost surmise. I believe Minfilia halted the Flood of Light's advance not by destroying Eden, but by silencing it. And in so doing, she hath gifted us an opportunity to precious to waste, too precious to waste. Even now, the flame of hope burns on. Aye, as Minfilia's successor, it standeth to reason that Rin doth possess the means to exert her will over Eden, but such a monumental task is not to be taken lightly. What sayest thou, Divi? I'm down, man. Imagine if this is easier. I imagine this is easier said than done. It would put Rin's life at risk. We all take risks. <laughs> Let's go. Yes, you're probably right, but I have to try. Very well, Rin. You've made up your mind. So how should we go about this? I have an idea. I've been studying carefully ever since we've arrived. And it seems to me that the light is more concentrated at a certain point. I suppose you could call it the core. That giant Talos had a core too, like a beating heart. It controlled the flow of Aether. If Eden's core is the same, perhaps we could use it to restore the Aetheric balance. The theory is certainly sound. By employing Aethernet shards as beacons, mayhap we could trace the ethereal flow to Eden's core, and in so doing secure the means to teleport to the very heart of the beast. Thankfully, the Settlement Council has kindly furnished us with a plethora of apparatus by which to perform such feasts. Feats. However, we must needs first have Rin study the entity's interior and chart us a suitable course. Once we have reached our destination, I shall fabricate a means by which you may directly communicate with Eden, and may have to exert a measure of control over it. You can really do that, Orianje? Yeah! All credit is due to a dear friend, a gentle soul long since departed who imparted to me a wealth of knowledge concerning Aetherology, Mombrida. Although I am certain she would be all too quick to chastise my methodology, that's definitely Mombrida. Excuse me for interrupting this trip down memory lane, but I don't imagine that Eden will be too happy about us rummaging around its innards, for want of a better term. In all seriousness though, I wouldn't be surprised if there is some sort of welcoming party arranged for intruders. Perhaps you had best lead the way, Divi. It's true that he's the only one who can defeat a Light Warden, but I'd rather not rely on him any more than we have to. Yes, I haven't forgotten what happened when he absorbed too much light, but as Alize said, Making promises you have no way of keeping is not a kindness. Now, I wish I could put down wardens myself, but the simple fact is I can't. And there's no point pretending I can. That's why I'm asking Divi. Exactly, get to the point. Then perhaps I could... Provide support. You already have a job to do, remember? The only reason this plan even has a chance of success is because of your involvement. We need you to concentrate on the task at hand and guide us to the core. Not only that, you'll have to keep an eye on Eden itself. If we somehow manage to make it angry, get us out of there. It's 
pretty difficult. Are you sure you want to go through with this? Yeah. This is what I do best. <laughs> For lack of any better plans, this will have to do. This is what I do best. I, uh, I do these things every day. You know, it's my thing. I won't let you down. No worries. Though we will remain here, Rin and I shall do our utmost to guide thee along the ethereal stream. After thou hast breached the exterior, we shall remain in contact via link pearls, uh, courtesy of our comrades in the Crystarium. Being relics, being relics salvaged from the Crystal Tower, I fear they may be somewhat less reliable than those to which thou art accustomed. Okay, so we're gonna communicate through ring pearls, uh, link pearls. Then we're gonna go inside this thing. Eden's Gate, Resurrection. Oh, comes in a link pearl like this. It is a raid. Eden's Resurrection. It's a normal raid. Wow. Alright, we'll come back in nine minutes once we get a group. And we got a Q. Let's go. Might have a pretty bomb AOST. Be careful, huge amounts of Asia are rushing to the core. Wait, what's that? Hmm. Keeper of knowledge, Eden Prime. That's the thing that's outside. I like the OST already. It is time for some jolly cooperation. <laughs> Let's do this. This looks so cool. I like all the, like, kind of, I don't know, cosmology happening around us. Well, he is the keeper of knowledge. I knew it. Soundtrack's kind of like heroic, but also a, a touch of oriental there, I, I, I sense it. It's like a mix of things. Oh! <laughs> Pure light from the right, from the right. Or I think just all cone shape. The whole arena. Hmm. How to mess up your F1 ability. But don't worry, I got this. Feeling, you will get lines. Whoop. 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 Oh, I'm cornered. No, I'm alright then. Heals though, heals kept me going. Sensed you. Nice boss. And the soundtrack is awesome. Everyone does a disconnect. No! I was like, wait, is this a mechanic? Am I, am I supposed to stop? 
But yeah, that's a disconnect. Hopefully I'm... nope. So yeah, obviously I got kicked out of that. I don't think I'm still in there. Location decor. On the bottom left there. I doubt they kept me though. Guys offline, you know. Man. I'm still there. I'm still there and they still haven't defeated it. Nice. these things again Ooh. also behind them okay Like, I, I sense with this OST there's some heroicness and then, like, grandiose, uh, greater than life kind of theme to it, you know? Well, all Final Fantasy has the greater than life thing, but this one has, like, kind of a heroic touch to it. Um, maybe that guy was a hero a little bit? <sighs> hmm. It seems that Tancred's prediction about there being some sort of guardian was right. Thankfully, it was nothing that you couldn't handle. I'm glad to say that you haven't been absorbed, you haven't absorbed any light either. So far, so good. Now that the way is clear, the Ethernet shards can send us to the core and back whenever we need. Why don't we give them a try? Matrix Lego looking thing. Once Irian J has activated the device, it's my turn. Oh, you get these things. Okay. The time hath come, Rin. Watch over me, Minfilia. Is this supposed to happen? Eden is offering considerable resistance. Not now, not when I'm so close. Arian J. I am unharmed, but what of Rin? No, you listen to me. Rin, be careful. What is happening? Oh. 
hope we're not awakening the first Sin Eater again. Wow. That looks epic. That definitely looks like th something that started everything <laughs> in the first 